Welcome to the Rosny College Electronics series of videos. In this video we'll be looking at non-ohmic conductors and how they differ from ohmic conductors. If you haven't already done the experiment, uh, an ohmic conductor is one where the voltage is proportional to the current in a resistor. Okay, so that symbol there means proportional. Okay, and we can formalize this a little bit in saying that voltage is equal to current times the resistance. Okay, so we're familiar with, with this now, this concept. If I were to graph what this looks like, if I were to draw the voltage against current, we get a nice straight line. Okay? So basically it means is if I increase the voltage, then I'm going to increase the current flowing through that resistor. And the amount that I increase is goes up steadily. So if I double the voltage, I'm going to double the current. If I halve the voltage, I'm going to halve the current. Okay, so you can see that if I have some reference voltage and current here, then if I were to halve it, you can see that it's if this is half of, of or if this is half of this total, and this is about half of this total. Okay? So this is what we say direct proportionality in that and it increases linearly. Okay, so this is ohmic. A non-ohmic conductor you'd expect to behave differently. So a non-ohmic conductor might have a graph, I'll draw off several here. It might do that, which means that as the voltage increases it conducts more and more. Or it might do that which means as the voltage increases it starts to conduct or limit the conduction so it doesn't conduct more and more. Okay, And some of the components that we, we study such as diodes exhibit this behaviour. So I'm going to have a look at um, the graph in a bit more detail of a diode. I'm going to draw voltage against current for a diode. So what tends to happen with a diode, I'll draw the circuit diagram just below. Uh, you need a resistor, and I'll explain why we need a resistor in a moment. And I'm going to choose a light emitting diode just because it's common. Okay, so We've got some voltage, which we're applying. I'm going to call this source voltage. And we're going to have a voltage across the LED. Okay. So as we change the voltage, source voltage here, we're going to increase the voltage applied to the LED. And if we start it with a starting point where we've got zero voltage, if you remember, that means there's no energy provided to the electrons, therefore they're not going to move. So we've got zero current. The only thing about the LEDs is that as you start, or any diode, is as you start to increase the voltage applied to it, we don't get any current flowing, not for a little while yet. Okay, so we start to have voltage applied, but we're not getting any current. So we're not we're not going up at all. Okay. Once it reaches a certain threshold voltage, it starts to increase its conductivity. So we're now seeing a current flowing when we've reached some voltage. Okay. And if we keep in increasing that, what happens isn't that it keeps going up like it doesn't go up this way because uh, like an ohmic resistor might. Because the junction that it's made of semiconductor material, so gallium and arsenide or silicon or whatever it might be made of, can only drop a certain voltage. It can't exceed that voltage on its own. So what happens is that we get a graph that looks something like this. So basically if you if you look at this, this is what we're controlling, the voltage. And as we increase the voltage, it starts to conduct. It conducts better and better and better until it reaches a point where it's 
about it's as fully conductive as it's ever going to be and if we need to control that current we need an external component to be able to do that so this is the maximum voltage that the diode or the conductor can drop okay? and we cannot exceed that if you try and exceed that you will basically make it con try and conduct uh, an infinite amount of current and obviously it cannot do that so something will give and usually the diode is the thing that gives because uh, I'll explain in the next video on power this voltage drop with a current through it is going to be using energy or, uh, or transferring energy from the electrical energy to some other like light or heat and they have a limitation as to how much that they can handle basically in a nutshell it's it, if you exceed that voltage you're going to make the diode either shorten its lifetime or fail completely so if I have my diode here um, I can say right well if I read the data sheet for it I might read that it's got a maximum current rating of let's say it's 10 milliamps uh, no 20 milliamps is quite common so maximum current is 20 milliamps so what I can do there is go right there's 20 milliamps if I trace it along it's going to have a voltage which is going to be less than its maximum voltage and it's what's called the forward voltage and for most LEDs and things like that it's around about 2 volts Okay, so the forward voltage drop at its rated current is 2 volts. If I were to decrease the current somehow, then we would see that the forward voltage drop across the LED decreases, but not by a huge amount. So I'll show that here, where I decrease it by half. If I trace that across, then go down a bit. You can see that it's certainly not a half of this 2 volts. It's just a little bit less. Okay, so at 10 milliamps it might be 1.9 volts, for example. So you can see there's not a huge amount of difference. And quite often what we do in order to keep things simple is we basically simpl simplify this whole model of our diode with something that would, if we were to graph it, look like this. goes along and then up okay with some some forward bit lower my axes some maximum forward voltage and that's supposed to be a vertical line meaning that as soon as I reach that voltage the current is not limited at all in any way by the by the diode okay so while this is not realistic it's often convenient and next video I'll be talking about how to calculate the forward voltage or the current and resistance requirements of an LED